people offering to take professional pictures with a beautiful background from the city. So you need to stop in order to not interrupt the photo session that they're doing right now. I feel like I'm risking my life making these videos. I'm crossing the bridge, which is quite high, and right right along the sidewalk you have a car passing by at a considerable speed. Right now what looks like the place where you are supposed to be here in Chongqing. This is the hot spot where you can check all the icons of the city. Uh, like this beautiful bridge and the Chongqing skyline. The sidewalk is pretty narrow and there's a lot of people. So especially today because it's Friday, weekend is coming. lot of people and tourists probably are coming here to check around the place and visit and a lot of people offering to take professional pictures with a beautiful background they have all these shops and houses like it's kind of a icon of uh, Chongqing right now so definitely if you come to Chongqing you need to visit and see this place and come here and at least take a picture with the bridge the skyline and the beautiful houses and the shops that you have in the other side. With the lights, definitely at night time is the time where you should come here and explore and visit this from the city so you need to stop in order to not interrupt the photo session that they're doing right now i'll show you how they're doing so we have so it's a whole thing because you have um you see this narrow street this narrow sidewalk okay there's a lot of people trying to catch and take a picture with the background which is fine so you have this mister here for example posing for this photographer and he needs to uh, be careful because there's a lot of people passing by so
I love this bridge because in the upper part, the upper side, you have the cars passing by and then in the lower deck, you have the subway, the metro of the city. How lovely it is. I need to ride it. I think I might go later to ride this metro and pass and cross this bridge in the subway, in the metro. But now, oh my god, I really like this city, I really like this place. It looks very modern, at least this area over here. And all the vibe with all the restaurants on my right side and the skyline, super modern. And the bridge, look at this bridge, come on. What an amazing architectural achievement, this uh, awesome bridge. Plus it's beautiful, like at nighttime with all the lights, super nice. Skyline behind me. Whoa, China definitely has a lot of places, beautiful places to explore and visit and Chongqing is one of those, so you definitely need to, to come here and see the city. I'm about to cross right now the Qing Si Man Jiang Ling Jiang Bridge. It's a long name, but I'm reading right now on the sign uh, on the top because I try to memorize the name, but I couldn't. Um, this is a very famous uh, bridge, an iconic one of the city of Chongqing. And at night it's more beautiful because of all the light. Tonight it's especially beautiful because I'm here. Because we're here crossing. So I was a little bit excited because when we started our night walk outside, the area where our hotel is located is not that crowded, so it was nice. And then we just came to this area where there's a lot of people, big crowds, especially today is Saturday. So forget about personal space, all the crowds are out there taking pictures and enjoying the night. It's just the way it is. I feel like I'm risking my life making these videos. I'm crossing the bridge, which is quite high, and right right along the sidewalk you have a car passing by and a considerable speed. They're going very fast. And I have to make the video, take the pictures, fly the drone, and there are like 10,000 people crossing the bridge at the same time. And on top of that, I have to take care of my three and a half years old kid. That's definitely not easy. You, our love of the place in my mind, trying to find a way to get to you. I love of the place in my mind, like a rumble, rumble in my
folks, I'm gonna be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.